Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this simple suitcase. So let's get started. First, I like to hide this light and camera just to make this place clean and neat. Go to camera view by clicking this camera button and change this to 1080 because I wanna save this image to square frame. Then we can start scaling the object by pressing S and Z to scale it in Z axis. Then S and X to scale it in X axis. S and Z again to scale a bit more. Then Control 2 to add subdivision and tap to go to edit mode. In edit mode, press Control R to add a loop cut. Control B to bevel it. And Control R to add another loop cut. And again, Control B to bevel it. This time, scroll your mouse wheel until you get four cuts. Then press Alt Z to turn on extreme mode. And make sure you are selecting this age selection mode by pressing 2. Then select these four. Actually, it's 8 because we are selecting from both sides. Then press Ctrl B to bevel just a little bit. I'll change this shape value to 0 0.1. And press Alt E to extrude phase along normal. You can turn off extreme mode now. And tap to go to edit mode, right click to shape smooth. Go to edit mode again and Ctrl R to add a loop cut here. And I want to adjust a bit. So press 1 to get vertex selection mode. Turn on X-ray view and select these. G and Z to move it up. Select the one at the bottom as well. G and Z to move it down. Then we'll add another object. Shift A, go to Mesh and add Q. G and Z to move it up. S to scale it down. And S and Y to make it longer. Then add a loop cut here. Control R. Then Control B to bevel it. Okay, then press 3 for face selection mode and choose these two faces. E to extrude them and go to object mode to add subdivision, Control 2. Then go back to edit mode again and press I to insert. And we'll need a loop cut here and one more here. Then right click, shade smooth. Okay, we'll add another object. But before that, Press Shift S and bring cursor to select it. Then Shift A to add a cylinder. S to scale it down. G to move it. And S and Z to scale it in Z exit. And then press slash to go to isolate view. Select both top and bottom faces. I to insert and again I to insert then Control R to add a loop cut here Control B to bevel it then Control 2 to add subdivision right click shade smooth now go to modifier panel and add a new modifier which is mirror modifier choose the mirror object to this handle and choose Y and Turn off X. All right, then press Alt and Shift Alt to select these faces. 
Shift D to duplicate, right click to release it. P to separate selection. Then S and X to scale it down in X exit. Now let's add modifier. Choose solidify modifier, drag it up to the top. Turn on even thickness, change offset value to 1. And increase thickness value to 0 0.03. Uh, let's just keep the thickness to 0 0.04. Then right click shade smooth and you can also increase subdivision levels okay now let's add the wheel press shift a and add a cylinder s to scale it down r y 90 to rotate G and Z to move it down, then G and X to move in X exit, S for scaling, okay let's go to isolate view and in edit mode, select this space and the one at the back. I to insert. This you gotta turn on X-ray mode to see through. Alt Z. Then Alt E to extrude face along normal. You can turn on X-ray mode now. Then I to insert. And after that, we're gonna add a loop cut here. Control R, then Control B to bubble it. Then Control 2 to add subdivision. Right click to shade smooth. To add three other wheels, I'm gonna use modifier. So select the wheel, go to modifier panel and add modifier. Then choose mirror. Our mirror object's gonna be this one. And turn on both X and Y. Well, I think it looks good now. So let's add color texture. To add color texture, select the object and go to material panel. Then click new. Change the base color to the color you want. If you want the same color to the other objects, you can simply copy. So to do that, you just need to select the object first, then select the object that already has color. Press Ctrl L, then blink material. And for this one, I'm going to choose dark color. I want the wheel to have that dark color as well. So we're just going to link material. For this one, it's going to be more like silver. So choose this color and we will need to increase the metallic value to 0.5. And for the wheel, I'm going to add second color. To do that, select the wheel and go to edit mode. Then select this middle part. In material panel, click this plus sign and choose this color. Or you can add a new color. Then click assign. To render, I'm going to change this to cycles. And when you are ready, you can click render image to save the image. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like this. And if you have any thoughts on this video, please let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.